What's up guys? So they just released information about the Insta360 One and I've been kind of hesitant to post my initial thoughts on this channel uh, just because I don't have it yet and I think it's better to um, have the camera in, in my possession before I make my final thoughts. Um, and that's what I'm going to do. When I get the camera in hand, um, then you'll be able to see what I really feel about it. Um, I've been burned in the past. Let's not go there, guys. So um, we're going to run through the website, and I'm just going to go through the specs and give you my initial thoughts. Um, I've seen a couple of videos on what it can do. I've seen a walk, walk through and review on some of the beta copies. So, um, so anyway, yeah, let's just go through the website real quick. All right, guys. So. Here we have the Insta 361. Um, what I like about this already is that you can use it standalone and you can use it as with your smartphone. Um, I was so excited when the last one came out, the uh, Insta 360 Air. I was so excited at how small it was. Um, when I found out that you couldn't use it without your phone or a computer, then that kind of hurt my feelings. Nothing bad about Insta 360. They make some amazing products, but. Um, as you know from my channel, I like to throw, I like to attach um, items to my drone and throw it up in the air. And I think the Insta360 Air would be perfect for my little DJI Spark. Um, low profile and doesn't weigh much. Um, this one's a little bit bigger, um, and by the looks of it, I can't tell for sure, but it kind of looks like the LG360 camera that came out. Um, you know, it, it has kind of the Ricoh Theta form factor, but then you can see from this picture that it's a little thicker than a Ricoh Theta. Overall, it's black. So black, I think, is a perfect form factor for hiding, um, you know, hiding your camera and keeping a low profile. Um, I love the looks of my Samsung cameras, but they're white. And I've had so many people ruin my shot because they, want, they came up to me and asked about it and wanted to know what it, what it was. This, this little guy, I think I can hide this just about anywhere and nobody's really going to notice it. So right now, currently it's made for the iPhone. I love the fact that it's available for the iPhone and the iPad. So we're going to try out some, some streaming on my iPad and see how that goes. So let's go down. I'm not going to click on the sample photo and videos right now because there's videos coming up. All right. So here we got UHD 4K video. So 4K is the standard right now. Um, anything under 4K is, to me is just kind of a toy and it's kind of unusable. Um, if you're going to put the footage on YouTube or you're going to use the footage on a VR headset, it needs to be at least 4K for it to be anywhere near clear. And I want to point out that it says log here. So I've been having some fun with my Garmin Verb and it shoots in log. The fact that you can shoot in log lets me know that, that there's attention to detail and there's attention to quality right there. For the photos, we've got 24 megapixel photos. 24 megapixel is a great image and you can shoot in raw. Um, what's awesome about this is you can go back in the raw um, image and you can adjust exposures and ad adjust color temperatures and stuff. So you don't have to get all of your steps right at the beginning. And that's what I want to say about this camera, guys. This camera is made for people that know what they're doing, but it's also made for people that don't know what they're doing. Um, I'm a graphic designer, and time and time again, I don't get it right the first time. I go back and I tweak and I edit and I recolor, and um, that's the kind of workflow that I'm, a, I'm accustomed to. So being able to shoot in RAW and in LOG and go back and fix, fix the footage later is great. We've got 360 live streaming. Um, <laughs> I have mixed feelings about live streaming right now. I've tried out the MeSphere, I've tried out the Garmin Verb. Yes, it's great that you can 360 live stream. But if you don't have a good connection, if your users don't have a good connection, um, then it's pretty much annoying. Um, you know, dropped frames, um, I was having this digital garbage go across my screen and you can go to my um, my playlist and see 
some of the other videos where I live streamed and they were they were both ultimate failures. I haven't done it well yet. Anyway, I don't know how I feel about live streaming. Yes, it's great and hopefully in the next year YouTube and Facebook and all the places you can stream to will up their game. Um, but currently I don't think live streaming in 360 is that good. 360 photos and videos, that's a given. Time lapse. Um, just about every camera that's out now has time lapse feature. Um, I don't know what this feature is going to have, but I hope that it has photos and video, like a photo version and a video version. Because if it just has photo version, um, then the workflow takes a little bit of time to put it all together. And if it just has video version, um, then I can't throw this thing up on my, on my drone and take pictures with it. And it's got Bluetooth. So here's some, some special features. Bullet time. Um, we're going to go through that a little bit later when I go see, when I get down to the video, but bullet time is a great idea. Um, and if they could do this in 4K, I would love it. Six axis <laughs> stabilization. Um, so this is great. Um, I don't want to see a camera come out from this point on without six axis stabilization. Um, free capture. This is awesome because I've been doing stuff like this in Final Cut and it takes a while to do it in Final Cut but if I can do it just in the app and export um, that'll greatly increase my uh, workflow. And then Smart Track. Um, so I've got this on my DJI drones and um, and I've seen this in action and I think this might be a great way to do vlogs and to do kind of street capture. So you can walk around the camera and it'll track your face. So that's kind of neat. But the output of this is also HD video. It's not a 360 degree video. And free capture is not a 360 degree video. Actually, none of these options right here, they utilize the 360 degree technology, but their output is a rectangular video, not an equa rectangular. All right. So this is a video of bullet time in action. Um, and as you can see, it looks kind of cool, but the quality is not that great. Um, and it might be by connection here, but, um, you know, it might be kind of cool here and there, but if the quality isn't 4K, it's not worth it to me. Um, here's, here's an example of the stabilization. So guys, that stabilization is really good. Um, and I'm super excited to throw this thing up on my drone. There it is right there. That's on my drone. No, it's not mine, but I have that drone and I'm definitely planning on putting it up. So shoot first point later with free capture. Um, so I saw a review of this this option, and basically, you're you go back and watch your footage after you've shot it, and then you look around using your phone. Um, that's a brilliant idea. This is in the software and not in the camera. Um, so there's other cameras that do the same thing. The Garmin Verb um, it has like compass lock, and it allows you to. Um, point in the same direction or follow the path using GPS coordinates. So this right here, it's great. And Insta360 software is definitely on par. Um, here's the smart track. As you can see there, you can put the camera in the middle of the skate park and this it's just following this skater around. Um, so you can create some pretty cool shots with not without doing anything. So that's awesome. I like that a lot. Here's the live streaming feature. We're probably watching it from this point. Um, but live streaming, I'm willing to give it some more chances. But so here's some accessories. <laughs> I want to talk about these accessories. None of these accessories are by, um, well, these three accessories that you can buy it now are not even by Insta360. This is a link to an Amazon tripod. This is a link to Shapeways. <laughs> and this is um, a link to a helmet cam. So 
all of these guys you can buy right now and put it on any of your cameras on them but the technology in the camera might be better for your drone than let's say the Ricoh Theta. Um, the waterproof housing is probably the only thing that I'll buy um, from them because uh, everything else GoPro mounts have been out for years um, just go buy some GoPro mounts but this waterproof housing um, makes the camera waterproof so that's pretty cool I'm not sure whether the stitching quality is going to be good um, because underwater you know the the refraction rates different underwater so your lenses work differently underwater um, something that I have seen is Rico Theta just announced their 4k video, 4k camera that's coming out at the end of September and that underwater housing looks better to me because it actually has space around the lenses so that's my initial thoughts on the Insta360 one and uh, planning on getting my hands on one pretty soon so I'll put it through the ringer. Um, I'm going to add it to my new series, Where Can I Stick It? And I'm also going to put um, a link in the description so that you can get your hands on one. Um, I'm going to pre-order mine, but they won't ship until September 9th. So chances are we all might get ours at the same time, um, depending on uh, what the demand is. Um, but yeah. I'm also going to put a link in the description for the Facebook group that I'm going to join um, so that we can all get connected personally and socially and learn how to use this camera together. So there you go guys, Insta360 One, it's a revolution.